What's going on, everybody? Today, I'm going to be talking about this guy right here. This is the Nanlite Forza 150. And this is my multiple, multiple attempts at this. Hopefully, I'm not going to have something go wrong, but it's out of focus or audio, which constantly has been trying to stop me from doing this video properly. Hopefully, that's the case. But then again, I'm also shooting on the G86. We shall see. What's good everybody, Jeff Jackson here, back again with another video. If you're new to my channel, I do tips, tricks, news, and reviews for the film and video making industry. So if this is content that you like, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell so you can stay up to date on all the content going forth. So today I'm going to do my long, long awaited video that I've attempted many times to do before, which is on this guy, my favorite light to use on the go, and that is the Nanlite Forza 150. This is a 180 watt power draw LED light that uses a Bowens mini mount, not the Bowens mount that everybody is known and famous for that uses, but it does come with a Bowens mount adapter that you can adapt to it. So I'm going to just quickly open this up. Now this case has sort of been modified from its original version because I've been using it. So you of course get the light, which let me just show you guys, Look, I mean, look at this. Look at this light right here. Look how tiny it is. This thing is tiny. I can't believe how small this light is. And this light is more powerful than an Aperture 120D Mark II. And it's still, and it's smaller. It's more compact and it's a lot more easy travel friendly which is one of the things I absolutely love about it. Uh, there's also some cons with it, but I'll get to that in a second. We also get the power brick, which is a four pin XLR input. So I got this little handle. It wasn't designed for the Forza 150. This was actually designed for the Forza 60 series of lights, but I've modified it to where I can use this and use this handheld and I'll go into this later on in the video how this can potentially work we also get a reflector dish with the light and then we get a head lead we get a head lead power cable which is actually decently long it's still not long where if you want to try to throw it up high in a minute arm but it's it still gives you a pretty good decent amount of length uh for uh, a run and right now you also get a adapter that goes from that goes from the bones mount because as you can see because as you see right here this is a mini bowens mount so it's not a full bowens mount so you could put this on uh it comes with an adapter that allows you to go to full size bones mount if you wanted to if you want to sort of stick to that sort of setup now it's probably good that i've messed up so many times because now after times i passed where i've actually used it on paid jobs and paid gigs on sets i can actually talk about them and show footages that was used with this light so uh there's two key jobs that i actually did the first one was a music video that i did down at rehoba beach the second one was a wedding that i did with my buddy junkyard cinema and we did a wedding together where we moved around with this light i used this during the preparations with the bride we used this during the reception moving all around where we would just highlight either the groom or the bride this thing was mobile and it was made possible because of this guy right here, which is a V mount that I can plug in to power this guy right here. One of the things that I like about it, I said, is that you can actually go handheld uh, with this. Now, now, the only thing is this light takes way more power than normal because of how concentrated it is. Um, this actually take needs you to take 26 volt of power, which uh, is a quite a lot. And so if you try to use four, uh, 12 to 14 volts, I think you'll get only up to like 70%. And then either the, the 
Nanlite won't go further, or if it does go further, it will just shut off, which you don't want to do. So you're going to need 26 volts, which by the way, is probably one of the biggest cons is the 26 volts are not cheap. I think the Nanlite proprietary uh, 26 volts is like $600 just for the battery. And then you'll just need to get accessories like this V-mount clamp that you can attach. And then you'll need like a D-tap to the four pin XLRs. But once you do this, as I'll turn this on and I'll probably not define it, it is, you can now use this at full power. And I'm probably gonna blind myself. Ah, woo. Ah, yeah, as you see, as I put this around, this is a very, very bright light. And that's one of the things that I absolutely love about it. It's just how compact and how powerful it is. And again, this is not, this is not heavy at all. You can definitely carry it and definitely walk around and be able to light and be able to just give yourself. And this is something that you can't necessarily do with something like an Aperture 120D with its with uh, its ballast and all these other different accessories. But you can just throw this on here and now you got something just e as equally as powerful, if not more powerful in a small compact travel ready. So if you're on somewhere where you don't have access to wall outlets, you can set it up here and get great amount of what and get a great amount of light input. So if I have to travel and go somewhere really, really fast, I can do that. I can go in, I can power. And again, I don't typically need to throw that much power because this thing, as small as it is, look how, look, look how tiny this guy is. Look at this. Look how tiny it is. And this thing has more output draw than an Aperture 120D Mark II. And it has the same amount of output with this reflector dish as an Aperture 300D Mark I. So this is extremely bright for the type of light that this is. And it's what makes it such a special thing. With something that this can, something like this, that has the ability to be this small, but this powerful. And if you guys seen my a review of the we light uh, not too long ago. You notice I was I would talk about the fan. That is not the case with this light right here, because as you can see, as I'll turn this on, the fan is hardly any noticeable. And if you're wondering, I'm gonna just go ahead and be quiet for about 10 seconds so you can hear this, if you can hear it at all. It doesn't even have a high low thing. It's just on or off. And so don't worry. So I wouldn't worry about the power draw of this. So this is definitely something that you could use if audio is very critical. But the other great thing about this light is of course the accessories that you can use with it. Of course, you got the snoot that comes with the light, but then you can also use things like the light, like the accessories I've talked about before, like this, which is the F. 11 for now take this off and throw this bad boy on now with the f11 for now you're going to have to squeeze it out just a little bit to get it properly secure but once it's on it's on you got and it's a nice beautiful beam that you can control and cut them. you want to cut it's got great cutting and then you can also spot it up. You can flood it out, but you can also spot it up. But then of course you also have the project amount, which again, I've talked about before. It is amazing with this. And it, the project amount also comes with little uh, gobos that you can drop in. So it's such a variety, such a workhorse light that you can use for, uh, compared to so many other lights. And that's why I would say, just like, again, we're talking about lights like this compared to other ones. Like, what other lights do you know of that is this small, this compact, that can output this amount of power? The uh, CRI is pretty stellar. I'm not gonna go over to the technicals. Uh, Andrew Locke does an amazing job with it. So if you wanna get more of the technical stuff, go check out his channel. He, he does amazing. 
definitely check it out. I always recommend him. Uh, his channel is called Gaffer and Gear. So uh, can couldn't recommend it enough uh, if you want to learn it. But it's got great color renditions. It's got a great uh, TM, TM30 color vector score, decent SSI scores as well. One of the other things is it also has DMX control. So if you have a Lehman radio or any other sort of DMX controller, you can actually plug in with, uh, I believe it's a 3.5, yeah, 3.5 millimeter jack, you can plug it in and you can do, either, can do wireless DMX controls as well. So if you guys are into DMX, this is a great thing to have. And for the music video that I used this for, we were on a beach and basically the light was used to bounce into uh, a, an ultra bounce to go back onto our subject that was backlit by the sun. We used it to, we used the, the ultra bounce to sort of lift up the luminance values on them as they were backlit. So we just bounced the sun off, but then we used this to throw on a little bit additional ambience that can that can bounce directly back at the subject and it worked and that's one of the things again i it's for the fact that it's so small and it's so mobile i can literally take this anywhere and pack it up and in fact i got it set up in its case where i basically have this set right here uh where i basically got the the v mount i got the v mount in there i got the cables i got this new so no matter where I go, I'm ready to go. I would also like to note that I will leave links to where you can purchase this light on Amazon or b &H. Make sure to check out those links below. And if you click on those links and you end up buying this light, it's no cost additional to you, but a little commission comes my way as well for a little assistance of help in the channel and I would greatly appreciate it. But overall, this is my thoughts on this light. I absolutely love it. This is my number one go-to light. I can't stress this enough. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this review. Let me know before if this is a light that you are interested in. If you have any other questions, leave your comments down below. And as always, if you like the content here, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. And until next time, take care everyone.